that's what we're going to do now, which is easy to do with a journal entry. But in QuickBooks, we, we're going to want to do it with a with an invoice form, which makes it a little bit more tricky. So let's do it here. Revenue, I'm in V8, F2 plus F2. Revenue is going to go up in the credit direction. That brings us back in the green down below. We're out of balance. That's why this one's red. We'll go to the work in process, V5, F2 plus F2. And the work in process now at the 18,461 is at 60. 770 so that's where we stand now and so when we when we go into quickbooks we would like to use an invoice because that's the form usually used to record revenue but the other side we don't want going to accounts receivable so if i go back on over and say well how are we going to do that if i go back on over here this is an internal invoice just for just for the revenue recognition part of things invoice and it's gonna pull stuff in. I don't wanna pull in from the estimate this time because that's what I'm doing for the external invoices that I'm gonna use and actually send to the client. I'm gonna pull in the billable items for the internal invoice that I'm gonna use, which would then calculate the 18,461.30 of revenue. So that looks correct. And so what would this do if I recorded it? It would record, it would increase accounts receivable by the total because it's an invoice. And the other side would be going to revenue accounts driven by these line items. I want these going to the revenue accounts, but I don't want this going to accounts receivable. Instead, I want it to go to work in process account. So what I'm gonna do is just make this zero by putting a negative number up here with my journal entry and then say this is just going to go to my uh, work in process account work in process and so i'm just going to put negative 18 461 class number two and so now nothing's going to accounts receivable because this is zero and the revenue is going to be recorded by these line items and then the part that was going to accounts receivable should now be going to work in process account all right, let's save it and close it and see if that is indeed what happens. Let's go back to the balance sheet, back to the balance sheet. We're gonna say that, that uh, work in process is affected here and it's nicely classified by class now. So if I had multiple amounts for different jobs in work in process, I can break that out and track it as with the billings using the class tracking, tab into the right, running uh the report over here we've got the revenue now recognized here at that uh at that 18 461 so i've got the revenue matching you know the cost of goods sold using our kind of completed concept matching concept which is which is nice by the way if i compare this to like the the first job at the end of the month that we did at the end of the month oh seven oh one 25 to 123125 you can see where the revenue recognition is a mess here cuz i recognize the revenue over here based on based on just when i build the client and then the expenses when we actually incurred the expenses so they're not matching they're not lining up like we would kind of like them to line up from a timing concept on a percentage completion kind of conceptual basis so i'm going to go 010125 063125 let's run this again let me do 06325 there's not 31 days in uh, june you have to stop at 30. okay i could do that let's go ahead and bill the client now so now we're gonna now we're gonna bill the client based on our billing schedule not based on the work that was done because we agreed to bill them and we're gonna stick to the billing process because we were we go by our word over here we told you the billing process we laid it out that's what we're going to do no matter what happens in our because that's how we set it up so accounts receivables are going to go up by what we build them for month number five now according to just our billing schedule that we agreed on at the beginning of this process and the other side i don't want to go to revenue because i'm recording the revenue based on this worksheet over here not based on the billing schedule because this is just for the billing side so i want the accounts receivable to go up the other side go into billings all right let's do that 
We're gonna go up top and say AR. Let's go into AR, something's in it. F2 plus F2. Scrolling down, 35,000, up to 35,000. Mui B to the N. Other side not going to revenue, but rather to billings. F2 plus F2. Scrolling down to the billings, 35,000. And that, you'll, you'll note, is now up to 100,000, meaning we have now billed out or invoiced the, the invoices that go actually to the client for the whole 100,000. When I enter the invoice in QuickBooks, however, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of finagling to get that billing item there. And I'd also like to get the detail on the invoice that I'm gonna to send to the client, which I'll pull in from the estimate. Let's do it. Go into the first tab. We're gonna add another invoice, ultra invoice. I'm gonna pull this one in from the estimate and this time I can choose either here or I can, like I can make this 35, but I can just choose the remaining balance now because this is gonna be it. I'm gonna close this thing out. That's the remaining balance in our progress invoicing. Boom. So now it's closed. We have nothing over here to pull over anymore. And this is gonna be as of 5-1, 5-1, and then down here, it pulls in nicely to what we want to give the client, the 35,000 down here, because it's an invoice, will increase accounts receivable. That's what we want. But the other side is going to go to these revenue accounts. I don't want it to go to revenue. I want it to go to billings. I could replace all of these items with a line item for billings, but I kind of like the detail that's being pulled in from the estimate. And therefore, I'm just going to do a little journal entry at the bottom here. And I'm just going to say I'm going to reduce the revenue account that these are going into. And just by the whole amount, negative 35,000. And this will be class number two. And I'm just going to put it into my billings account. 